hello viewers welcome to linux simply in this video i'm going to show you a few examples of changing file permission in linux so let's get started there are two modes of changing file permissions in linux the first one is symbolic mode and the second one is absolute mode in symbolic mode permissions are represented in symbolic form and in absolute mode permissions are represented in numeric or octal form if you check these charts, you will get clear idea about how these two modes work. Now I'm going to show you some examples of changing permissions in symbolic mode. Now for this, I'm going to open the Ubuntu terminal. Now I'm going to add permissions to a file in Linux. For this, I'm going to check the file permissions that is currently set to the file. I'm using ls-l command. ls command shows the contents inside the folder. And this all L option shows the long listing format. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. As you can see, I'm going to change this file's permission. Um, I'm going to add permission to this file. And this is the current permission of this file. For this, I'm going to use chmod command. This chmod command changes file and uh, folders permission and uh, this u plus x adds execute permission to the user or the owner and uh, o plus wx uh, adds uh, write and execute permission to the other users and this is the absolute part of the file. Now tapping on the enter button to continue the process. Now let's check if the permissions are added to the file or not and following the same procedure I'm going to do that. As you can see I have successfully added file permissions to this file. Now I'm going to remove file permissions in Linux. So let's see the current file permissions of that file using the same procedure. This is the file from which I want to remove file permissions and this is the current permission of the file. This chmod command is used to change file permissions as I have said before and uh, this one is to remove the execution permission from the user and this one is to remove uh, the write and execution permission from the groups so and this is the uh, part of the file 2.txt file now i'm tapping on the enter button now let's check if the uh, permissions are removed or not from the file so using the same procedure i'm going to check it as you can see the permissions are removed from this file now I'm going to change permissions of other users files. So first let me show you the file of other user and for this I'm switching the user and typing the password of the user and pressing the enter button. As you can see I have switched to another user and let me show you the file using ls command. This is the file from which I want to change permission. And uh, now I'm going to switch to the previous user. I have to type the password again and uh, tapping the enter button again. Now let me show you how I can change the permissions of this file from other user. So for this I have to use sudo. Previously I didn't use sudo command but in this case I have to use this. This sudo command grants administrative privileges and this portion adds execute permission to all the group, all the permission groups 
and this is the path of the file to be used and now I'm tapping on the enter button and typing the password of the user of the root user and uh, pressing the enter button again let's check if the permissions of the file are changed or not tapping on the enter button as you can see the permissions of the file are changed that belongs to a different user now I'm going to show you some examples of changing permissions in absolute mode so at first I'm going to show how you can add permissions to 777 for every permission group let's see what are the permissions of the file I'm going to change ls shell this is a file I'm going to use and it has only read and write permission to two types of users now let's add permission to the file this triple seven adds read write and execute permission to all types of users and this is a part of the file now tapping on the enter button to continue let's check if the permissions are changed or not as you can see the permissions are changed to triple seven now i'm going to show you how you can remove all permissions from the permission groups excluding the owner so at first check the file permissions of the file this is the file i'm going to use and this is the current permission of the file this portion will remove all the permission uh, from the uh, groups and other users except the owner and this is a part of the file so now I'm pressing on the enter button now let's check if the permissions are removed or not as you can see all the permissions are removed from the permission groups excluding the owner if you find these commands complicated you can always use the graphical user interface and change file permissions with that so for this go to the home directory and uh, as I'm going to change this file you can also select a file to change permission and uh, right click on that and click on the properties and go to the permissions and uh, here are the permissions you can change according to your choice and uh, for owner I'm keeping read only and uh, for groups I'm keeping none if you click on this checkbox you will simply add the execution permission to the file and if you uncheck this it will not uh, add the execution permission so this is how you can uh, change file permissions using graphical user interface and uh, that's all for now i hope you enjoyed watching this video bye bye